If you've got a brand new shiny iPhone 10 and you use a screen recorder, you may end up with videos that look like this, or like this. How do we solve that? Let's take a look. Hello folks, welcome back to the Video Gadgets Journal. If this is your first time here, my mission on this channel is to help you screen record your iPhones and iPads and share them with the world. In this video, I want to talk about the iPhone X and the interesting resolution predicaments that it brings with it. So this is a screen recording where you can see the full screen and everything looks fine. I'm gonna go into Clash Royale. Everything looks good here, yes? Well, not quite. Let's look at the actual raw recording on screen. So everything looks fine to begin with, but once I launch the application Clash Royale, look at the top and the bottom of the screens, they've been sliced off and we just have black borders. This is because of the new longer layout of iPhone 10. Some applications such as Facebook, Twitter, the home screen, they all use the full screen, but games and older applications are ignoring this notch and staying at a resolution and size which doesn't get in the way of anything physically on screen. So how do we fix that? Well, iMovies is a good place to start since a lot of you will use this application and it horribly crops portrait videos anyway, as you can see here. So how do we fix it in iMovies? Well, if you tap the track itself, that will highlight it yellow in a box and you will see a magnifying glass in the top right hand corner. If you tap that, then it will say pinch to zoom video. So if you now pinch to zoom, the video will zoom in and out and you can line it up exactly with the size of the game and not the actual screen recording of the home screen. And when you save this video, it will now save the resolution of the game that you're trying to record. Of course, you have to bear in mind that this will crop the home screen, so icons at the top and the bottom might be cut off. But if you're not trying to record the home screens, just the game, that's okay. If this is a little unclear, let me demonstrate with another application. There are many video editors that include cropping tools, but I'm going to go with this one from the App Store because it's free and it does exactly what I want and demonstrates it very well. A link is in the description. Once you've downloaded the application, you just need to select whichever video you want to crop and then tap the select button in the top right hand corner and this brings you to the video editing options. Now tap the crop video button and then drag the slider to the point in the recording where you have the game footage and you should now see those black bars at the top and bottom of the screen. Then you can adjust the markers so it just highlights the game and none of the black spaces and you can see the resolution being adjusted at the top. Once you've done that, tap done and then it will go through a conversion process of cropping the video. The length of the video will of course determine how long this process takes. Once it has completed, you then tap the share button and then tap on gallery to save the cropped video to your photo app. These are the two screen recordings, the original one on the left hand side and the new cropped version on the right hand side. Notice how the original is longer and thinner and the right hand side one has the cropped icon dock at the bottom, but obviously once we go into Clash Royale, that's going to look so much better. When it comes to landscape games, you'll have to consider exactly the same thing. Does it leave black borders on the left and right hand side of the screen for games like Clash of Clans, Geometry Dash, Last Day on Earth? Something to consider. And of course, this only resolves the issues of the black borders on the screen recording itself. You can still get black borders when you play a video such as this on a device that's not from an iPhone or an iPad, such as on an Android device, where maybe the screen resolution is a little different anyway, or on a desktop. And again, you may get these black borders anyway. I've done plenty of videos on this topic as well. Check them out. So yeah, whether you like it or you love it, this notch right here is having an adverse effect on screen recordings for your iPhone X. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And for more iOS screen recording content just like this, subscribe to the Video Gadgets Journal. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.